Hi everyone, Rhonda Robson with Rhonda's Try Artistry. And did you know that you could do fluid art on something other than a canvas? Well, you can. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to do it on two great big pots. So I am a CEO of a YMCA and during the COVID uh, situation when we were shut down, uh, we remodeled our front area to make sure that there was enough room for the um, social distancing. So with that, then we decided, well, um, there are some pots there that just didn't go. So I thought, well, what the heck, I'll bring them home and I'll try to do some fluid art on top of them. So in this video, you're gonna see that, unfortunately, one made it to the Y and one did not. On the way into the Y, I seriously broke one of them, but what can you do? So anyway, thanks for joining me on my channel. Don't forget to subscribe and to click that notification bell. And please let me know down below what types of things you have done fluid art on. All right, let's do a couple of big, huge pots. I was gonna say, let's get you down the canvas, but it's not a canvas. Let's get you down, let's get you up on a pot. Okay, talk to you soon. Bye for now. Today we are going to actually do these big pots. This pot was with the Y when the Y was built many, many years ago. And so I'm gonna paint it. I'm hoping to do some fluid art on it, but today I'm gonna, right now, I'm just going to paint it to get it a solid color. Then I can fluid art. And I've got two of these. So that's my plan is to, to paint these and then to do some fluid art over top of them. This should be fun. A lot of work, but should be fun. What I have is I have some paint from the Y that we currently have that we utilize. I've got three different colors here that we've utilized throughout the building. One's kind of a, I don't know, a darker uh, chocolate brown. One's kind of that taupe color. And then one's like a graphite um, gray color. And um, we created the front desk, the Welcome Center desk. This is gonna bug me, I'm gonna have to adjust this, but. We created the Welcome Center desk with some wood and wood grain, and it is kind of a gray, and it's got blacks, uh, and it's got a little bit of that taupe, so some of that grayish. So that's why I'm gonna utilize these colors. I'm gonna paint this, though, the graphite um, black, because I want that to kind of pop the, the black that's in the grain. Um, I'm gonna add in some Floetrol to help this spread a little bit, and then I found um, in my home, when we first moved in here, this was some paint that was left over um, from our previous homeowners that also has kind of some beige and some gray and some gray. So I think I'll be able to utilize those and then maybe add in some some gold. Um, I'm trying to decide if I want gold or if I want silver. I want it to kind of pop, so I'm thinking gold, but we'll just see um, with how that happens. So we'll just kind of get started. I'm gonna mix together some of this color here, this graphite color first, and Floetrol to begin with.
Hi guys, all right, I'm gonna put on my gloves. Um, and then I'm gonna pour, layer these this up with the colors for my two pots. I gotta be careful, I don't wanna tip my pots over, but this is about as big a space as I got, so. Okay, so here's my contraption for these guys here. I've got it on a plastic container underneath, but then to hold it up because they're so heavy, I had to have cups around it. And I got plates coming from these drip sections, of course, with the puppy pad underneath there. So, yeah, this is going to be an interesting <laughs>
everyone. Okay, so I did these um, upside down, but because of how they're shaped, um, this top part didn't get done. So that's what I'm planning on doing uh, next. So hopefully it works. I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to do it. So I'm just going to go kind of as, that's kind of how I feel. <laughs> I don't really have a plan. Okay, so I've got some extra paint that I had left over um, <clears throat> from these dripping. So that's that. So that I'll start with that. And then I've got my um, dark gray, gold, and um, silver uh, mixed up, ready to go to just kind of add to it. Um, yeah, so anyway, we'll see what happens. So what I'm doing right here is I'm just doing the final touches and making sure that the drips don't um, leave a drip mark. So I'm smoothing those drips out. Almost done though. It was a like long project. Okay, I think I'm done for now. Bye.
Thanks for watching. And if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so that way you can get notified when I have a new video up. Thank you for watching and have a great day.